are we doing? Ice fishing. <laughs> for the first time ever. Yeah, we are going ice fishing for the first time ever on this beautiful lake, pond. Erica actually caught her biggest bass here. What was it, last summer? Your biggest bass? Yeah. She caught her biggest bass here in, the, in last summer. So there's big fish here and there's also some perch. So we'll see what happens. And uh, we're pretty stoked. She's pretty excited about going ice fishing for the first time. Uh, we bought an auger and everything, so we're, uh, we're kind of prepared. We're in our surf fishing waders <laughs> because that's what we have to, to stay dry and warm. But let's give it a shot. Bright, sunny day, blue sky, birds chirping. 16 degrees, a whopping 16. Let's go. So Erica actually has an ice fishing rod. I do not. We went to Walmart to go pick one up. Turns out they don't have it. So I have a little throttle two size 10 reel with a four foot six ultra light rod. So we're gonna try to make it work this way. She's got the actual ice fishing rod. Okay. Mine broke, which is why I don't have it. So let's give it a shot. Let's tie something up. I've caught nice perch in here before. So I am gonna try and put on something smaller and I wanna see if I can catch some nice perch. So I'm using eighth ounce little ball jig heads and um, I crush the barbs on them. These always have like super like strong hooks on them and I always have trouble getting them out of like the mouths of like little fish, like panfish. So I crush the barb on it. I'm gonna use these tiny little grub worms. Um, this is the same setup that I've always caught um, crabby and perch with. So I'm gonna see if it works for uh, for ice fishing too. Where's the, uh, the ladle? Wow. I can't believe how thick the ice is. Oh, some greenery. <laughs> Not hard. I have no idea. there with my rod in my hand for a long time and now I put it on one of the little tackle boxes <laughs> because yeah ice fishing is a lot of waiting it's like bait fishing pretty much which I'm not a crazy fan of but I'm still hopeful and excited if we don't catch anything here we can go to another spot that's about like 10 minutes up the road and um, I know there's big pickerel there there's decent sized bass and there's a lot of beautiful perch there too so we have like multiple options if this doesn't work out <laughs> We're going to the next spot. It just it just seems to be a little too shallow here. Like we have about a foot maybe that much under the ice before the vegetation begins. And uh, I just don't, I don't know. Not that I know too much about ice fishing, but. <laughs> Let's go to another spot. It's a miracle that my worm is still alive. He's probably cold. <laughs> Second spot. My hand warmers. I don't know how you don't have the hand warmers or toe warmers. I'm freezing. It's a little bit windier here than the last lake but Erica said that she's caught pickerel here, so, you know, maybe we have a chance of catching a, a northern slimy fish, so. You ready, Bob? Yeah. It looks like there's a bunch of holes on the lake. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, people know that they're fishers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Fish. 
Good morning, folks. Guess who's super excited to go ice fishing again? Her. I am. This is day two. Yesterday was a learning experience. I think we made a lot of mistakes, and through that, we are going to use it to catch fish today. So. Yes. Also, we have a different approach to this area. One, we are using the Fish Brain app, which um, it has a bunch of contours for this for this lake that we're fishing, and we're gonna try to fish some drop-offs, some deeper areas, and try to follow where those fish are just staging up in the cold, waiting for bait, whether it's, it's crawfish, so they can just go up and pop them, or if there's some sort of bait fish just chilling in some vegetation or around some rocks. But that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be looking at the contours here on the Fish Brain app, following it like a little GPS while we're walking the lake, because it'll pin us right on top of where we wanna go. And we bought minnows at a local bait shop. Was it like 35 minutes from here? Yeah, it was uh, Pike County Outfitters. Pike County Outfitters. If you're in this area, they have a very cool selection of stuff. Very and cool. Very informative, so. Oh, another thing. <laughs> I bought an ice fishing rod. <laughs> I got myself a rod. So instead of using the four foot six, because my other one broke, I got I got this one. It was like 16 bucks. But shall we go catch some fish? Yes. It is snowing today, so it's kind of beautiful driving around all over the place, okay. seeing the snow. And uh, we're gonna be fishing in the snow. That's something you haven't done, right? No. Except actually. for yesterday when it was just briefly slightly, snowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. Open it up. What do we got in here? Oh, oh, we got, we got oh, one. We got a data. No, he's going. Ah, uh, yeah, he's not doing too well. All right, boys, it's your time to shine. Ha ha ha! Get it? Cause they're shiners. Ha ha ha! So another thing I forgot to mention that we got were three tip ups. So we're gonna be uh, catching some fish with those as well, instead of just jigging around with one rod each. All right, Miss Bob. Huh? Let's see what the contour is of where we are. We wanna go in those drop-offs. So it says it's about seven, seven feet deep over we're here. Sitting in seven feet. Nowhere near a drop off. No, except. but I used to kayak here. Um, every summer I kayak here, and there's a stick. This, that's this is actually a huge tree that probably I don't know if I had to say it was probably like 40 or 50 feet. This huge log, and I know that because I've gotten snagged on it before because I knew there would be fish around it. So I know that it goes this way. All right, so we're gonna drop. I think next we, to it yeah because fish are going to be holding the structure too i think that probably about 10 feet that way we should go i think we should drop like here yeah there's a lot of branches and stuff i don't know that's I good mean, that's can, where crappie are sitting we can cut a hole right there and see yeah Trying to figure out how a tip up works. Like we said, we're new to this, so we're not really uh, ice fishing experts. They say you're supposed to hook him behind the dorsal fin, but I know in a lot of like big bass and stuff, they go for a bait fish's head. So another way that I learned how to do it is if you hook them from up here and into the top above their gill plate, that's, it's just as strong as if you do it behind and then also, we got him right in the front where some big fish is gonna get him. And it'll go right into the mouth like that. And then, I hit him with this. So the spool is designed to stay under the water so that it doesn't freeze. My hand is frozen. Now let's see that, that contour. Alright. Look at that. 
nice drop off all along the edge here. It goes from two th to three feet to 11 feet between here and there. Right here. This is the spot. <laughs> all right. I feel it. <laughs> Avoiding getting our hands wet, we're using our little spoon to pick up some minners. <laughs> Look how big that one is. It's giant. Okay, we're back in the truck. That didn't go as planned. We had fun, it was definitely a fun experience, but we didn't get any fish whatsoever. But, you know, we're gonna go home. We're gonna try it back at home. Try to catch some fish, largemouth, pickerel, perch, whatever it might be. Oh. We're outfitted now. Yeah. All we need is a, uh, a shanty. We need an ice shanty. A shanty. And a heater, and we should be good and be able to do this as long as we want. But that wind was ripping; it was just freezing. But mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna go home, give it a shot. Thank you for following this story. Although we didn't catch any fish, it's definitely a fun experience, and I want to remember it forever. So we're gonna post it. So thank you again. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Stay real, smooth and release, and, and have, have some fun, fun on the water. water. We'll see you next time. <laughs>